I need like <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to the show vlog. It is currently Saturday evening. It's like 5.30 at night and I've just finished riding. I gave Archie a bit of a schooling session and then we popped around a course of show jumps because we're going show jumping tomorrow. I've just got Archie in now. He's a bit dirty, so I'm gonna wash him. I have already trimmed him up, so that's one less thing to do, but I'm just gonna give him a full body wash. I need a really clean his tail because his tail is like brown which is disgusting and then i've got to clean my gear and pack the float i've already put in his hay to soak for tomorrow so that's one less thing that i have to do but it's going to be a rush to get it done this evening because i want to go to bed early because i am the first rider on tomorrow and the class starts at 8 30 and i've got to give archie time uh, to settle in and desensitize him to the area because he's never been before it's his second ever ridden show so there's lots going on but i thought i'd do a full vlog from the night before and then all of tomorrow because well at least for me personally like shows don't just happen they don't just start on the day that they start like there's a whole heap of preparation that goes into them beforehand during the week and then like the night before obviously you prepare a lot for the show so i thought it might be interesting i don't know it's an excuse to vlog i hope you enjoy i'm gonna set up a time lapse because this is gonna take ages to wash him so cue the time lapse i have also given him a feed to entertain his very hyperactive brain so hopefully that buys me some time to wash him because he gets annoyed when he's being washed because he has to stand still but yeah why is there just a random gumboot like i don't know whose this is i don't know where it came from there's not a pair of them it's just one gumboot and there's a pigeon making a nest up there. <laughs> Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray, all I need are some better day. I'm looking in the mirror, so foggy, but I've never seen clearer. Last show, oh, it's very dark, isn't it? The last show he managed to get his tail bag and his tail bandage off so this time i'm gonna just wrap it with the tail bandage and hope that he doesn't get it off but knowing him he probably will get it off because he is mischievous can you please lift your tail off we'll stop clamping it down it's a bit up close and personal isn't it i will be so impressed if you keep this on no! Oh, golly gosh. That is not ideal. I need like an... Okay. okay, we're not going for looks. We're going for practicality. Definitely not going for looks. I love a good fart in the face. I actually need an extra room. I know for a fact that he's gonna get down and roll. So do I let him off in the stable block paddock and hope that he rolls on the grass where there's no dust and then put him back? Or do I just put him back and accept that he's just gonna roll in the dust? Can we bargain? Splashy said that he's not going to the show. But you will soon, yeah. He's like, no, this is absolutely unacceptable that you're taking Archie and not me. Do not roll. Please. Oh no. Oh no. No, please. <laughs> please. 
Oh golly. Goodbye all my hard work. Splash is just standing here licking me. He's like, I wouldn't do that. I'm a good boy. Oh. You feel better now? Yeah. <laughs> you wouldn't roll in the dust, would you, Splashy? He says, no, I'm an experienced competition man. I wouldn't do that. And that she's like, and I'll do it again. Hello, hello. I thought I'd provide you with my thoughts on how I felt our rounds went. So first up, obviously, we have our warm up. If you watched uh, the vlog on Archie's first ever ridden show, you will be able to tell straight away the huge difference in how he was working. You can see, obviously, he's not fully 100% relaxed um, and he is holding a lot of tension in his neck um, and through his pole, but considering what we were working with in June to what we had on this day, like, massive improvement. So pleased with him. I also think the thing that really helped was we got there early and showed him where all the warm-up jumps were, where the rings were, where the yards were, all before any other horses were out warming up. And we just led him over. He was still in his cover. It was literally after he was just unloaded from the float, we just went straight over. Um, and he seemed to really enjoy that. He took everything in. But yeah, upon reflection, another really helpful thing was that I had a lesson with my coach on the Thursday before and the show was on Sunday uh, so a few days before and I asked her for some tips on how I can warm him up in a way that gets his mind on me and so one of the things that she suggested was uh, playing with his flexion and his bend and increasing and decreasing the tempo and that worked really well. over one shortly because I think you're running out of time. Here we are in the ring. We were first to go. This was just in the 60 TM2, so this is just meant to be a speed round, but because it is his first ever competitive show jumping round, um, I just took it nice and easy and relaxed. The ground was also hard, but the grass on top was quite slick, um, so it was a little bit slippery in some places, so I took corners nice and wide. I didn't really ask anything dramatic in terms of speed or turns or whatnot. I just wanted to give him a good experience and he honestly blew me away with how he handled this because at the last show I didn't, I really didn't feel that I had his attention on me at all um, and it kind of felt like riding a ticking time bomb. Whereas on this day, my goodness, he felt incredible. I was so proud of him, absolute little star. And much to our surprise, he actually got second. So there were only two clear rounds, and he was slightly slower than. Uh, this bigger horse and this is his first ever ribbon so cute he didn't really know what it was at first but he was a very happy boy because everyone was looking at him and going oh my gosh he's so pretty
it's amusing Sitting there gaslight and confusing Was it me? Is it me? And then we're straight into it warming up for our 70 TM2 So 70 speed round uh, He warmed up really nicely again He was a bit sticky to get into the canter so I just trotted into the jumps But once he was in the ring he was feeling good But that's just another thing that I need to work on um, His upwards canter transitions getting it a bit sharper Look at him, he's so cute. He gave all of them plenty of air. I mean, they are quite small, they're only 70, but yeah, he's just so cute and he felt amazing. His jump feels so nice. You literally feel like you could point him in front of any height jump and he'd just be like, okay, I'll go do it. But yeah, upon reflection on this day, we are absolutely putting the jumps up. He is ready for them to be put up. I entered the 60 and the 70 more so because I wasn't sure how he would handle the atmosphere um, because obviously the last show was a little bit interesting um, but yeah no he did super and is definitely ready for the jumps to be put up he is jumping bigger at home but we thought we would just give him a nice easy day such a good boy and he's not even too worried about like the other horses but it's like such a massive improvement from Ayrton like to get it was really hard to get his concentration on me in the warm-up at Ayrton but today he's just been really good he's still not quite there but it's a, definitely a massive improvement then we started warming up for our instant jump off um, Again, you can kind of see he's a little bit sticky. He was getting a little bit tired, bless him, but still trying super hard. Parallel next. Such a cute jump. Love this pony. But yeah, you can see he's just backing off a little bit. But he just needs to get fitter and that'll be good. In this ring, it was a bit spookier. This was like ring one. And you can see there's like tractors and marquees and just a little bit busier in terms of atmosphere um, and there was also this random hay bale just like in the middle of the ring near the line he had a wee shy here because he saw a shadow and I think he thought it was a ditch I'm just gonna be quiet for a few seconds and let you listen to the audio and let me know if you notice anything Did you hear the fireworks being let off in the background? I would like to clarify that this was like 11 in the morning. So why there were fireworks going off, I do not know. And I think that's why he was a bit stickier. He was a little bit more lucky as well. Then this jump here, he had a wee look and took me by surprise with how big he jumped it. So that rail was absolutely my fault. Um, and we also didn't really have enough impulsion. But he definitely cleared it in the front end. Sorry, Archie. And yeah, you can see here, he's just starting to be a little bit more lucky. Um, I think it was due to the fireworks in the busier atmosphere. But yeah, such a good boy. He actually did manage to get third in this round, which was very surprising because obviously we didn't get third to the instant jump off because in order to do the jump off, you need to have a clear first round. He had a wee look at the ribbon. He's like, I'm not really sure what that is, but okay. <laughs> And then this run is also just an instant jump off, but it's just at 60 this time, instead of 70. He was getting a bit sticky, and here, I think he was having a look at the hay bale, you see it just down on the my left. Just 
very sticky and not very like himself and then he looked at this jump which was strange but I think it's because he needed to go for a wee poo poo but he was back into it after that then this jump he had a look at it again and it took me by surprise how he reacted to it um, he hasn't really reacted like this before to a jump so I was trying to find how it was best to ride him into it some horses they go well if you growl at them Archie doesn't he likes encouragement so I was just clocking him on um, and telling him good boy uh, and that worked well um, but again I wasn't expecting him to jump it uh, so please excuse my terrible position absolutely my fault and again much to our surprise he actually managed to win this class I think it's important to keep in mind that these heights a lot of the people that were entering them had green horses um, and so the purpose of the show was more about exposure rather than like going fast and like doing all these super turns and whatnot. Finish the day in one piece, well done. Very good for the first show jumping one, well done. You want to say anything? I'm glad that we came. I'm glad that I stayed on. But overall, I'm really proud of him because he handled that really well. He did. Because even in the ring one, it was more spooky than the other one. Yeah. Um, and there was more going on. And there was like tractors and more ponies and fireworks. Yep. <laughs> in the background, that's fun. Something that could make sense They hate when I keep dreaming I'll be famous Gonna keep chasing but yeah that was Archie's second ever ridden show I am so blown away by him and honestly if you could see the smile on my face right now like just watching it back I'm like oh such a special moment oh I'm so proud of him and it's so special as well because we bred him we've been his only owners and so to, for me to be able to ride his first ever show jumping round was really just like so sentimental and yeah so proud of him i'm so excited for the rest of the season let me know what you thought of this show vlog and yeah more jumping vlogs coming your way soon i'm super excited to get lots of content out to you guys but yeah thank you so much for watching and i will see you in the next video very soon be special if I get rid of the devils They think that I am a rebel I think they want me to settle There's nobody on my level They think that work is too stressful I think